Phil's Kitchen. Today, we're going to bring sweet and savory together. We're going to make a pecan crusted pork tenderloin. Now, I know that sounds complicated, but it's really not. Okay, and I'm going to show you how easy it is. Now, first, we've got to start off with a sauce. And this sauce is a sweet and thick sauce. It's cooked down to the point where it's of a consistency where it sticks to the pork really well. So let me read you the ingredients because I wouldn't remember them if I didn't read them to you. So we start off with two cups of peach nectar, okay? A half a cup teriyaki sauce, half a cup of soy, a third a cup dark brown sugar, two thirds cup of white wine, I use Chardonnay, I like to drink that. A dash of ginger, and a tablespoon of maple syrup. So, there isn't any order that has to go into the pot. Put it in a saucepan, and turn on medium heat, okay? You don't want it too high, because you have sugar in there, and you have a lot of sugary things in there. And they'll burn, and they'll stick if you put it on high and forget about it. So let's put it on medium, no water necessary, just put everything in that pot and start cooking it down. Now, you'll know it gets to the right consistency when it starts to thicken and you might have maybe an inch, inch and a half left in the pot when you get done cooking it down. Okay, so be patient, it takes a while and you can be doing other things but just keep checking back and, and stirring every now and then. Uh, okay, so here it is right here, and you can see, wait, let's see, higher, <laughs> how about that, okay, so it's a very thick consistency, and it's cooled off enough to where we can get this, uh, we can get this uh, coated with it, and if it's too hot, you might start cooking the pork on the outside, and that's not a good thing, so we want it um, I'm saying this is even cooler than room temperature right now. Okay, so we're going to start out with a cup and a half of pecan halves. And I put them in a plastic bag and these halves won't stick. So I have to like bust them up a little bit. Now you can buy it with the pieces, but I don't like the pieces because they're too small and you don't really, you know, it's hard to, you know, get that uh, proper texture that you would get, you know, with the nut being, you know, larger. So, tenderloin here that has been um, cleaned up a little bit. I took the, the silver skin off. It's that skin that uh, that's really tough and you don't want it on there because it just it's, it's chewy. So I took that off. Everything's nice and cleaned up. There's a little bit of fat on there which is not a problem. And I'm going to go ahead and dip into our sauce. good just let that now it goes in to the pecans and you're gonna have to work a little bit to get these pecans to stick and if you heard that noise that was my preheated oven 350 degrees okay so pushing it in Exact 
signs, and you're going to have the pecans fall off. And, but I'm telling you, it's really worth the trouble. Oh, it's, I'm going to wash my hands off a little bit. And what we're going to do is put this on a sheet pan with a rack. We want this to sit up high and we want to cook on all sides. So that's ready to go. Our pecans are nicely stuffed. We're going to lose a few of them when we transfer. And we can put some back on again too. Can you see that? Okay. So that's how it goes in the oven. And what we're going to do in the beginning, the first stages of cooking, first of all, we're going to put, put it in the middle rack of the oven. Okay. And then we're going to cover it with a sheet of aluminum foil. Um, the reason we're going to do that is so, because there's so much sugar in here and there'll be a tendency for this thing to burn while it's cooking. So, I'll cover it up for the first initial cooking, and then towards the end, we'll uncover it and let it crisp up. Okay, so let's get it in the oven. We're at 350. We're gonna go on the middle rack. And before we go in, let's throw that foil over the top to make sure we don't burn it. Now, pork has to reach the temperature of 145 degrees to be safe. So, what I normally do is I, I check the temperature with a digital thermometer throughout the cooking process. And when I get close to, say, 130, 135, I'll take that tent off. I'll take the aluminum foil off and I'll let it brown up a little bit. Um, I usually take my pork to maybe close to 150 just to be on the safe side and it still comes out really moist and nice especially the tender one so we'll go ahead get that in the oven it's in the oven and we'll come back and we'll be ready to show you what this really looks like when it's done all right welcome back everybody we're at 150 with our pork tender wine and uh, we're ready to plate it. Can you see that? All right, so looks beautiful. We'll probably take a knife. And uh, still nice and moist. Everything looks delicious. And uh, my son is joining us for dinner tonight, so <laughs> he's got dinner tonight. But thank you for being here with us. Uh, come back again for another episode. And uh, we love having you here. And we enjoy it. So have a good night.